Hello and welcome to the first tutorial on Pygame. We'll eventually be using Pygame to create more complicated games, but we're just going to start today by drawing some shapes. I've started with a blank Eclipse class template, which I have named Shapes. And the first thing we're going to do is change the name of the class to Shapes. Remember to make sure that it is capitalized, as in Python, all classes are capitalized. Oops. Okay. In the same way that in TK Inter we imported some different modules, we have to import some Pygame modules. Again, make sure this is installed on your system um, before you do this part. So we are going to in import the main Pygame module. And if you remember, in T when we did TK Inter, we imported the specific TTK um, module from TK Inter. We're going to do the same sort of thing with Pygame here. And we're going to prove from pygame.locals, we're going to import everything. And what that does, what pygame locals will allow us to do, is when we quit our pygame window, it's going to make sure that everything is shut down gracefully. All the different classes we have, sprites we have, um, parts of our game. And the one last module we're going to import is the sys module. And what that's going to allow us to do is when we click the big red S, that's going to close the whole Pygame window. Okay, let's go down to our constructor class. We're going to get rid of this params. The only parameter we're going to need for today is the self parameter for our constructor. We're going to go ahead and fill in the um, document strings later, the doc strings. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is actually start Pygame. So we are going to type pygame in it, and that stands for pygame initialized, and that starts all the pygame modules going. And if you remember back to, to TK Inter, the first thing we also did was to create a main window and a main frame. Well, we have to do that too, and the way we do that is we're going to do a pygame display, and then we're going to set the caption. And the caption is going to be what our window um, says on, the, on the, the, the menu bar. And I'm going to call this Drawing Shapes. All right. So that's all that does is just sets up a window with a Drawing Shapes um, title. OK, now the next thing we're going to do is actually create our window and our window size. And since we're making a class, we're going to save it to a variable. I'll call it self.screen. And that's going to equal pygame dot display again dot set mode. Okay. And we're going to give the window size and a couple other parameters. So the first parameter is the window size. And we're going to make it 680 by 400. And if you notice, there's, there's two sets of parameters, or excuse me, two sets of parentheses. And Inside this one set of parentheses, I put the window size. This set of parameters here, or this this set here in, in the parentheses, is a new kind of Python type that we haven't talked about before. And it's called a tuple, and a tuple is very similar to a Python list in that it contains a collection of data. The one major difference between a tuple and a Python list is that you cannot change a Python tuple. You can't append things to it. You can't delete things from it or remove it. It's said to be immutable, unable to be changed. Um, and you're going to see a lot of tuples as we work with Pygame. So the first tuple is the window size. Okay, the next parameter we're going to use, actually the next two, um, we're not going to go into too much detail explaining because they're going to be the same every time. The zero that we're going to put in has to deal with um, advanced GUI options, which I'm not going to worry about right now. And the last one is always going to be 32, which has to do with your color depth and the amount of colors you can use. OK? So we've now set up our window. And again, these last two parameters, the 0 and the 32, will always be the same. And the first parameter will be whatever size window you would like. All right, now we're going to give our screen some color. So we're going to fill it in. So I'm going to do self.screen.fill. And we're going to put in another tuple. Anytime you deal with colors in Pygame, you're going to use a tuple of three numbers. 
one for red, one for green, and one for blue. And the numbers go from 0 to 355. So if I did 0, 0, 0, that would be black. Our screen would be filled with black. If I did 255, 255, 255, that would be white. If I did all, if I did 255, 0, and 0, that means everything is red. So let's just leave it like that for right now, just to have a red screen. And again, we can change this later. All right, so now we've got our screen set up. We've got our caption, we've got it, the screen size set up, and we've got it filled with a red color. Let's actually start drawing a shape. We're going to start with a circle. So I'm going to start with self. I'm going to call it my circle because we're going to assign it to a variable so that we can do things with it later. And we're going to say pi game, draw. And we won't do this for this tutorial, but all of your shapes start with pi game dot draw. And we're going to draw a circle. And circle has a lot of parameters. First parameter, is in the same way as TK enter, is you have to tell what window you're going to put it in. If you have multiple, they're actually called surfaces in Pygame. If you have multiple surfaces, you have to specify which one. So we're going to say, uh, draw our circle on the screen surface. Okay. The next is the color of the circle. So we're going to use a tuple. And let's make our, our circle 255, 0, and 255. And you can experiment with the different colors. And you can see this has got some red and blue in it, so it'll be kind of purpley. So we'll see what that looks like later. The next uh, parameter is where on the screen you want it to be. And again, it's another tuple of coordinates. And in Pygame, the coordinates start in the upper left of the screen at 0, 0. And x increases as you go to the right, and y increases as you go down. So we're going to start in roughly the middle at 200, 200. And it goes by pixels. The next parameter is the radius of the circle. And I'll make it 25 pixels. And the final parameter, it's a lot of parameters, is the thickness of the line that you want your circle to be drawn with. If you put 0, that means your circle's filled in. All right, so now we've got our circle done. Again, we're going to draw some other shapes in the next tutorial. Now we have to get our circle drawn on the screen. And the way we do that is by doing pygame.display and then update. And in order for the drawings to show up on the screen, you have to update the display. And this command we just did, pygame.display.update, adds all the drawings to the screen so they can be viewed. All right, we finished our constructor class for right now. So this is all we're going to do for right now. Let's go ahead and create that main function. And we're going to type if name equals main. We're going to create a new instance of our class. So I'm going to assign that new object to the variable drawing. So I'll type drawings equals shapes, since that's the name of my class. And remember, shapes doesn't have any parameters, so we'll just do some empty parentheses. Okay. Let's go ahead and now we've created an instance of a class. Let's save it. So I hit Control S to save it, and then Control 11 to run it. We'll do Python run and click OK. Whoa! I don't know if you saw that, but it kind of blinked very, very quickly. The window opened up and then disappeared very, very, very quickly. So what we need to do is have the screen displayed until we decide to close it. So we're going to create a loop to do that. We're going to create an infinite loop. So underneath our where we created our, our instance of our class, we're going to put while true. And remember that's going to run until we actually break out of that loop. And we're going to actually have this loop run until we click the red X. Uh, so, f uh, so that's what we have to tell, tell Pygame to look for us for someone clicking that red X. So we're going to do a loop for event in pygame.event.get. And this, this bears a little bit of explaining. Uh, any kind of keystroke, a mouse movement, a mouse click, etc., are all examples of events. And Pygame is constantly looking for events, and anytime something happens, it keeps track of them in a list. 
And so this pygame event.get keeps track of all those events. So we're going to look for a specific event. And that event we're going to look for is the quit event. So if event equals quit, then we are going to quit pygame. So pygame quit. And what that does is it'll, again, close out all the variables and end pygame gracefully without crashing. And then I guess the window closes. We're going to do sys.exit. Remember way back at the beginning when we imported sys? Well, that's why we did this. All right, I think we're ready to run this again. So let's save it. Let's do control F11. And now we have, remember, a bright red window and a purplish kind of circle. Uh, it's not the most beautiful thing, but it's a start. I think you can play around with the colors. Well, that's it for this first tutorial in drawing shapes in Pygame. The next one we'll look at drawing things like rectangles and polygons so we can begin to do some really more complex shapes. Well, thank you very much for paying attention.